So much has happened. I can't believe the helm is gone. At least we managed to salvage a small section of the ship from Europa. We couldn't leave poor Failsafe alone out there again. We must operate out of the last city for now. And so, welcome to my tonic shop. Petra has been helping me search through old records. Techian research, even materials from the old House of Wolves. I found many references to tonics. Elixirs my forebears used to treat sickness or grant strength. This wasn't common medicine. Old Reese was suffused with the light of the great machine. Some of these ingredients must have been too. My father is... ailing. Nezarek's curse works upon him day by day. But I know there's a solution in here somewhere. I won't give up until I find it. I hope my studies can be of some use to you as well. Whatever new power it is that Fikrul wields, will need a way to counteract it. For now, it may be helpful to study the revenants that Fikrul creates. It's... unsavory, but we have to start somewhere. I believe my father wants to speak with you. Please, don't let him know that I'm worried for him. you in the light, Guardian. I regret that you must see me like this. I know insists that this is flowing the curse, but it is no cure. Mm. Much elixni medicine was forgotten. Ido seeks a remedy in secrets of old Rees. There are few still living who know the ways of our lost home. Eremiskel remembers. Captured by the Guardian this day, she will help. Her love for the Elixni is poisoned by her hatred of the Great Machine. But now she will see wisdom in your path. Yes. Safety with house light. Protected by guardians. Safe, but not whole. I thought being near the great machine would help reclaim what we lost on Reese. But I look at our hatchlings now. Living in the ruins of humanity. Building lives from scrap. And I see that we are debased. Corrupted. Trust in Ido. Varix teaches the ways of house judgment. She will find old solutions to new problems. You will see. Even after the Traveler fled our sky, and our world was swept away in horror. After our great houses fell to betrayal and futile war, some Elixni held hope for unity and a future for our people. I do not know how much time remains to me, but if none challenge Fikrul, that dream is lost. Vigrul will condemn Elixni to decay and ruin. We will be a dead people, ruled over by the dead. My life is for my daughter and my house. Let them see that I still believe the old stories. Old stories tell that when Rhys was threatened by dangers no weapon could defeat, the Kells would call upon a Slayer Baron, one possessed of forgotten knowledge, 
capable of impossible feats. One who can stand against an unrelenting foe. Does that not describe you well, my friend? So much of our history is tale and myth, but the scribe Varix remembers much. And what he cannot recall, Ido will help you uncover. I name you my slayer, Baron, and I beg of you, defend our house, defend our people. Deliver them from this second whirlwind, and when the time comes, deliver them from my curse. His minions continue to hunt down Elixni across the soul system. He does not seek to call them under his banner. He will warp their minds, control them. They will kneel, willing or otherwise. Kel of Kells, Slayer, Baron, these are old titles, but our faith in them holds strong. Even those in House Salvation will understand the role you play. Death came for Rhys, and none could prevent it. But that does not have to be our future. I will not compel your obedience, Guardian. I beseech you, as King, join your sword arms to mine. Slayer Baron of House Light, stand against those who would cast us into ruin. Cut down all those who would destroy our house. Carve a future for the living from the bones of the dead. in her cell. We've been talking a little. I think we're making progress. She's been more responsive lately. You've been out there protecting our people. Even she has to admit that much. I mentioned that I've been working with Varix to track down information about tonics. Aramis said she knew a couple of older Elixni with knowledge of such things. If we could track down an apothecary, it would speed up my research considerably. In the meantime, Aramis also spoke of a Salvation Enclave that might need our help. I sent Crow the coordinates. I... might have left out the part where Aramis gave them to us. I know, but... I think we can trust Aramis to look after the interests of her own people. I'm sure Crow will see that soon enough. Trust me on this? Approve, I think. 